this week on Common Sense. Is the legislature trying to make amends with the cities and towns for revenue sharing cuts solely on the backs of the one percenters? Would that even work? Are you kidding me? Senate Bill number 472 proposes to divert all state income tax revenue from any personal income amount above $250,000 to close the yawning gap in state aid transfers that the legislature itself has created in the last few years. This measure would establish two new restricted receipt accounts under control of the general treasury. Each would get 50% of the vigorous collected by this change in tax policy. One uh, account would be shared with the cities and towns on the basis of population as regular state revenue sharing for their general funds. The other would be earmarked exclusively for support of the construction of public schools. It should be noted that the bill's new tables for computing state income tax on these higher incomes has also increased dramatically. So what's this all about? Because the legislature has failed to budget anything for its own pension and post-employment benefit obligations for decades, it has had to cut state aid to municipalities. To still the wailing and moaning and gnashing of teeth that now emanates from the 39 jurisdictions who have seen that huge cut in their income, the legislature has had to throw them a fish. Well, it's a pretty big fish, ladies and gentlemen. This plan effectively caps state revenues from the income tax at a hard dollar figure. What's that going to mean in the out years? It also adds a good deal more fuel to the economic propulsion mechanism that's ejecting our highest earners out into the surrounding states. Not to mention that it strips this high-end revenue from consideration for any other spending priority. Senator Satchel is the uh, author of this bill. Sir, do you regard this kind of knee-jerk reaction as good management of the public funds? Are you kidding me? Join us on Verizon Channel 34 or Cox Channel 15. Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on Facebook at Common Sense and on Twitter at, at Common Sense RI.